Hello everyone, in this INR number 100, we are going to discuss about another important topic which is a PYQ, Scleromalacia perforans, right? So what is Scleromalacia perforans? It is an example of anterior scleritis. Remember, anterior scleritis where you can see the problem in the sclera, right? And what is the problem? This is associated with autoimmune disorder autoimmune disorder the autoimmune cells they are going to damage you can see the dilated blood vessels here so these autoimmune cells are going to damage the episcleral and scleral blood vessels right and because of their damage there will be the scleromalacia perforans right this scleritis is because of the blood vessel inflammation because of autoimmune cells right and who will be affected this is a very important pyq and in exam examiner will be giving you history a 40 year old female or 60 year old female with long standing rheumatoid arthritis right like that it had been asked in exam so older female patient with the rheumatoid arthritis so that history will be typical and then this image will be given this was the exact question which came in exam right so older female rheumatoid arthritis and this image is what this is a thinned sclera with grayish appearance so now you can see that this is the normal eye and this is the thinned sclera and they are looking gray why they are looking gray because it is coming from the underlying visible uveal tissue because it has been thinned the sclera has become thin and is and uh, and because of the underlying uveal tissue which is looking like a grayish or giving grayish appearance so that is what it will be right so thin sclera with grayish appearance which is coming from the underlying visible uveal tissue and what can be the treatment nsaids steroids and immunosuppressants like a tnf alpha inhibitors so keep revising this topic for upcoming exam and surely you are going to get question from this series my best wishes to all of you